Hi guys, as Halloween is right around the corner and you all know how much I love making Halloween treats, I'm back showing you two awesome witchy cupcake ideas. So to start, I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate cupcake. So into my big bowl, I'm going to cream my sugars and stalk with butter together. Now it won't take long to cream that together as I can use this straight from the fridge. So pop that in. While that's mixing, I'm going to sift all of my dry ingredients together. For the full details of these cupcakes, make sure you check out the first link in the description box. So that's all mixed together nicely. I'm going to set that aside and get going with my wet ingredients. So into a bowl, I'm just going to beat those all together. Now it's time to get adding everything into my bowl. I'm going to start by pouring half of my wet ingredients in and then slowly adding all of my dry ingredients in. Finally, I'm adding in the rest of my wet ingredients. I'm gonna mix that until it's nice and smooth. My mixture is lovely and smooth. I can now add that into my cupcake cases and then they can go in the oven. So my cupcakes are out of the oven, they're nice and cool and they've risen really well and inside they're lovely and light and fluffy because of the stalk of butter. So I'm going to show you two different ways to decorate your cupcakes. I'm showing you how to make a witch's cauldron and then a half melted witch with her legs sticking out of the cupcake. It's going to look spooky. Now to ice the cupcakes, I've just beaten together some stalk with butter and some icing and then I've just coloured that green to make it even more Halloween-y. So I'm going to pipe a swirl onto half of the cupcakes. Now it's time to add on the witch's leg. I love this cupcake design as it's so easy to whip together. I've got a funky black and orange straw and I've just cut that into thirds and they are going to be her legs. And then on top, I'm going to get some black icing and just mold it into a little booty shape. I'm just dipping the end of my straw into water to help that icing stick around it. Once your little boots are set, they can then go into your cupcakes. Time to decorate cupcake number two. So the cupcake's going to act as the cauldron and the icing's going to be the potion inside. So I'm going to take a serrated knife and just cut a hole out of the center so I can pipe the icing into it. To decorate the top of the cauldron, I've got lots of different sweets. I've got some colourful balls to place on top and I've got some worms that I'm going to cut into some small pieces and stick out the top. But feel free to add as much or as little as you would like.
So that is how you make two spooky witchy cupcakes. Easy.